I canceled my business flight. What was I thinking? In this video, I'm going to tell you a little story about how I canceled my flight, why I canceled that flight, and what I got out of that situation. Stay tuned. So I was recently traveling um, internationally and by international travel, I mean moving from a region to another. So that was from the Caribbean to North America or the Caribbean to Europe and so forth. So I recently traveled and I booked a business flight ticket. Now, before we get into the details of how this happened, I wanted to highlight something. A lot of times we believe that um, booking a business flight ticket is for those who are rich and wealthy, for people of a certain social class. And it is true that being able to book a business flight ticket comes with, you know, a specific amount of financial comfort. But I think if you are in the travel industry or if you, you seek to travel more often, this is something that you should definitely look into. Um, you might not be able to afford this right now, but it could be something that you aspire to be in the future, to do, sorry, in the future, because it comes with its own types of perks. By the way, if you feel like you need to have an extra source of income coming in, in addition to your nine to five salary, make sure you check my signature course, making money online for beginners, where I teach you the A to Z of how you can monetize your skills online, target more clients, grow your income and be able to afford a lot more in life, including your dreams and who knows business class flight ticket. So, um, I was saying that I booked a business flight ticket um, when I was doing an international trip recently, but I ended up canceling the ticket. Now, to give you a little bit of perspective of how this happened, um, the reason I booked the business flight ticket was because there was no other um, economy flight and I needed to travel on a specific date. I am grateful that I was actually able to afford a business flight ticket. It was more expensive, but it came with its own perks, such as the flexibility to change your dates up to one hour before the flight. Imagine that. Imagine if your flight is at... Um, let's say 10 a.m. and you change your flight at 9 a.m. and you have no penalties a full refund amazing perks you also have um, the opportunity to choose your seats to have priority seats um, to be in business class which comes with its own level of comfort where you don't get in the economy class um, when you have a business flight ticket you can also access the business class lounges at different and the airport where you are traveling from and the business class lounge gives you different perks like you know you have unlimited and high um, level Wi-Fi you have food drinks and different other cute amenities while you are waiting for your flight some business uh, class lounges in airport also have a business center um, they have a shower where you can take a shower you can take a nap uh, while waiting for your flight and they will notify you when your flight comes so so it has a lot of perks it comes with a lot of advantages that you know depend on each airline so in my case i booked this business class ticket because that was the only ticket basically that was left and i really need to go on those dates so um i because my flight got changed my entire itinerary got changed um i had a fully flexible business class ticket uh, which means i could change it at any point in time with no penalties i could also have additional um luggages like up to two luggages um you know including in my airfare and many other things like in flight entertainment and just like many other things um so because my original travel plan got kind of like shifted by a few dates i therefore decided to shift my business class ticket also so interestingly when i moved i ch i decided to change my flight okay the days after the original date when i was supposed to travel like one day or two days there were not only just more economy flight tickets but there were also more business class tickets um at the same price so i realized something booking a business class ticket doesn't just afford me the opportunity to change my flight whenever i want but i could also decide to downgrade to an economy ticket and still have a refund so what i did was i canceled that business flight ticket and i chose a different date that was like one or two days later compared to when i wanted to travel and i booked an economy class ticket which was um a higher economy level so it's not a regular economy class but like a a higher economic class that still gives me gives me sorry business class perks but also the flexibility to change the flight ticket if i still want to change and cancel that other flight ticket so i was like wow 
I did not just save $2,000, minimum of $1,000 was saved, which means that they refunded me, but I also got an economic class ticket that would say give me business class perks. So I felt like, okay, that's a really, really good deal because either way, did I really need a business class ticket? Let's talk about that. The beauty of business class, traveling business class is not just in flight, but it's also on uh, the hours leading up to your flights, which means at the airport. And I thought to myself, I could have this business class ticket and just fly, you know, at a high level here, but I was departing from the Caribbean. And it turns out that the company that I was traveling with did not have very sophisticated airport lounges at the airports in the Caribbean where I, will, I was going to depart from, which means that to me, I wouldn't have had the full business class experience. So I thought to myself, should I just keep this ticket um you know and just have the in-flight experience or you know would it make sense to you know just downgrade it because i wouldn't have the full experience and to me based on what my priorities were at the time i said you know what it's not worth keeping that business class ticket because to me enjoying business class flight means you need to enjoy all the amenities which includes the in-flight experience but also the airport experience and that is one message i want to bring across to you when it comes to booking business flight tickets i recommend that you book tickets um, where you will actually be able to um, enjoy both aspects of the business class experience okay so if you are for example traveling from a big metropole like uh, a big city like new york los angeles or any city well any big city in the in the u.s like chicago philadelphia or anywhere else in north america or in europe or in africa usually the airports in those big cities have lounges for different airlines so if you're booking a business class tickets let's say from new york to barbados or to dominica or from miami to dominica because now we have international flights um, uh, um traveling uh, international flights um frequently from miami to dominica if you're booking a business class ticket uh, it's more fitted for you to book it from miami to dominica because in miami you are more likely to have um, an airport lounge for the travel company that you're going with. In this case, American Airlines will be, um, you know, is the one currently operating the flights from Miami to Dominica. So they are more likely to have a fully equipped airport lounge in Miami so that before your flight, you can actually enjoy every single thing that the airport lounge offers at the airport. And you can also get in-flight business class treatment. So you get the full experience of your business class. But if you say you want to travel business class from dominica to miami for example you will get the in-flight experience yes but you are not going to get the business class lounge experience which is really really important and also contributes to the business class experience so these are the parameters that i took into consideration when canceling my business class ticket at the end of the day i got a very huge refund i still got the flexibility that i wanted in booking my flight and i still arrived at my destination on time happy and with more money in my bank account so i hope you found this video helpful and i hope you found these tips helpful i want to hear from you have you ever traveled business class and if yes what was your experience like i would like you to share your experience so that we can be able to help as many people are uh, in this community and i'm sure that your tips and strategies and comments are going to help somebody else who you know is watching this channel so let's continue the conversation in the comments